So next I'm going to introduce a few more techniques that try to reduce uh, the coherence traffic and that try to improve latency uh, when you're doing this, uh, this handoff of a lock from one thread to the next. Okay, the first one is called the ticket lock and it is very similar to showing up at a DMV and, and picking up a token that tells me when my turn is going to show up. Okay, so there, is, there are two variables. There is the now waiting variable and the now serving variable. Okay, so when a thread shows up, maybe this has a value 63 saying that, um, you know, my turn is number 63 and the thread currently being served is perhaps thread number 55. Okay, so when you show up, what you're going to do is a load link that reads this value. You're going to see that it is a 63 that is currently, uh, that, that's currently in wait. You're going to increment it and you're going to store uh, and write a 64 in over here, right? So in an atomic operation, effectively, I'm reading my current turn number and I'm incrementing this so that the next thread sees that it is thread number 64. Okay, after this, you know, I'm going to get into a tight loop which does a load length and it is, you know, checking to see if the now serving variable equals 63. Okay, so you're going to keep looping until this now serving variable becomes 63, right? So when a thread finishes and is ready to release a lock, what it does is it increments this, so it makes it 56 and then, you know, 57 and so on. Finally, finally when that becomes 63, this thread realizes it is now my turn to acquire the lock and it moves ahead. Okay, so, uh, you know, in terms of coherence traffic, this is no better than the previous one because everyone is kind of examining the single variable and every time that variable is changed you know everyone has to engage in coherence traffic to read the new value right the main difference between this and the previous implementation is that this is a little bit more fair because when you show up you are guaranteed you know your turn after a certain amount of time right it's not as if you know some thread keeps beating you because you know that other thread is more lucky in performing its store conditional first okay next is an array based lock which is actually going to lead to less coherence traffic compared to the previous case okay so instead of everybody waiting on a single now serving variable as is done over here we have an array of now serving variables okay so when one thread shows up it is assigned to this variable over here saying that you know when you see a zero over here then you can proceed with your critical section and when you're done what you should be doing is setting a zero in the next variable okay so you know thread um, one is reading from this location okay and then ultimately it's writing to a different location and thread t2 is assigned to this next location and you're saying that you know you keep reading this value when that becomes a zero then you can proceed with your critical section and when you're done you go and write a zero into this next location right and thread t3 is waiting on this value and it's going to update the next value the next variable and so on okay and this leads to less coherence traffic because you know every thread is assigned to its own location Okay, so, you know, finally, when somebody modifies that location, it's only, you know, two threads that are involved in that coherence transaction, the thread that did the write and the thread that's doing the read, right? Everybody else that is waiting in the queue is waiting on a different variable and, you know, they will not be involved in, um, in the coherence transactions that are created when T2 is doing a handoff to T3. Okay, so there are many ways to implement these lock algorithms. Uh, and you know they all rely on some kind of synchronization primitive like the load link store conditional which can provide atomicity and you know many of these innovations are trying to minimize the latency and the coherence traffic every time a lock is being handed off from one thread to the next